Hey folks, Johnny Walsh, Frontierless Craftsman here again. In this video I'm going to be making an electrolysis unit. Electrolysis is the process of removing rust from iron or steel by passing a small electric current, in this case by a battery charger, through the metal. As the current passes through from the anode to the cathode, that's the sacrificial bit of metal and the piece that you want to de-rust, the process causes the rust to flake off the metal in a very gentle and easy way. Have a look at the article that I've linked down below from Rick's Woodshop Creations. It's a really good article explaining all about the ins and outs of doing it. What this video is going to be concerned with is building a unit so that I can just have it ready to go whenever I want it in my workshop. I'm making the external box that will hold the inner water container out of MDF. This is just because it's what I have lying around. As you can see it's an old piece of wood that I'm just getting the best out of. I use an old oil can as my water container and as it kind of bows at the sides it's very hard to measure so I just make it up as I go along using a piece of wood sandwiched against it to guide where I need to make my cuts. This system can be easily made out of a bucket, a few pieces of metal, some wire and an old battery charger. And I've done this a number of times, but I wanted to have something that is ready and set up to use. So the idea is that I'll just be able to tie the piece on to a bar that I'll drop in place and it'll be ready to go. As the metal is going to be surrounded by water, I paint all the surfaces I don't want to be conductive with a rust inhibiting paint. This will help to insulate it and stop further corrosion. I make sure to leave the ends of my hanging bars unpainted so that they can transfer current to the piece that I'll be hanging in the water. Thank you. 
check it out this is going to be in a good few future projects and getting bits and pieces that i'll be making de-rusted in that so you'll get to see a lot more of it then hope you enjoyed it see you in the next one